Antarctica is Earth's fifth largest continent, and it's the coldest place on Earth. And believe it or not, it's actually a desert. It does not rain or snow a lot there. When it snows, the snow does not melt and builds up over many years. The continent is made up of lots of ice in the form of glaciers, ice shelves, and icebergs. Scientists take turns going in there to study, but overall, it's pretty inhospitable. But don't think for a second some pretty strange stuff isn't turning up there. 15 Unsettling Discoveries in Antarctica Nobody Can Explain Antarctic Volcano First up, what's the last thing you expect to find in the frozen continent of Antarctica? Yeah, you guessed it, a volcano. Believe it or not, not only do scientists believe that they've mapped a gigantic volcano that exists beneath the surface of Antarctica, but they have some other bad news. They think it's already erupted, and it may be due to erupt pretty soon. Feast your eyes on this breathtaking view, the lofty peaks of a place known as Mount Erebus, Antarctica's second highest peak and officially its highest active volcano. With a summit elevation of 12,448 feet, the astonishing stature of this natural formation is enough to make anyone feel tiny in comparison. Incredibly, the volcano is believed to have been active since around 1.3 million years ago due to the long-lived lava lake located deep in its center. Back in 2021, scientists warned that an explosion from this mountain could be so catastrophic that it would cause the sea levels to rise as a result. That comes after video evidence was captured in the mid-2010s of Mount Erebus giving off smoke and ash from its peak, suggesting something was rumbling in its core. Antarctica is home to over 100 volcanoes scattered throughout the region. Ticking time bomb? Maybe. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. This discovery in Antarctica scares scientists, a real-life predator monster like from the movies. As an integral part of one of the most popular sci-fi franchises of all time, the design of the predator creature is arguably its most recognizable attribute for moviegoers. They also look a lot like the mystery creature you're looking at now. In the movies, predators are a highly aggressive type of extraterrestrial alien. The basis of their existence is to hunt other dangerous species for sport and honor. Visibly, the creatures are around 7 feet tall, sporting armor fashioned with the bones and hide of previous prey. They also have long dreadlocks and protruding mandibles and are often seen wearing their high-tech visor. Predators stalk and kill their prey using a combination of highly advanced technology and traditional ancient weapons. In terms of their physical abilities, predators are known to be resilient to a lot of physical damage in combat, which means you don't want to mess with these things. The specimen of whatever these scientists have found in Antarctica might not actually be a real-life movie monster, but it sure could be. Have you ever seen anything like this? We don't think so, but comment below anyway using hashtag sweet topic. Murder Station Speaking of terrifying, this next entry is something straight out of a horror movie. While Antarctica isn't exactly the most hospitable place, there are a very limited number of people who live and work there, often residing in research bases and remote stations out in the frozen landscape, effectively making the most remote wilderness on the planet their home. As you may imagine, living and working in such a hellish environment can often take its toll. And back in 2018, a man at a Russian research base suffered an emotional breakdown as a consequence, resulting in the first ever case of attempted murder in Antarctica, that we know of anyway. The event occurred at the remote Bilinghausen station on King George Island after two Russian researchers got into an argument in the station's dining room. The incident was believed to have been the result of one researcher suffering a mental breakdown, and while the victim was relocated to Chile for treatment, thankfully they survived the terrifying ordeal. Incredibly, it's not the only bizarre criminal incident that's occurred on the frozen continent. Back in May 2000, an Australian scientist passed away after suffering heart complications where it was later revealed that he had been poisoned with a lethal dose of methanol. The case remains a mystery. Murderer loose in Antarctica? Spooky. Journey to the center of the Earth Sure, this next one may not be an attempted murder mystery, but we have to admit that it's still incredibly strange. Take a look at this truly incredible footage posted by TikTok user eBird2, which appears to show a strange, seemingly man-made tunnel 
protruding from the ice of Antarctica. Not only that, but it also claims to be evidence of the controversial hollow earth theory, which is the elaborate, out of this world belief that an entire civilization of ancient aliens lives deep within the core of our planet. Whatever the case, it's proven that the deep beneath Antarctica's ice sheets, there exists an entire kingdom of unexplored tunnels that are still waiting to be mapped. Perhaps the most incredible of these unexplored tunnels is the network of caverns that leads to a place known as Lake Vostok, an unbelievable monolith of an underground lake deep beneath the ice. Incredibly, it's the sixth largest body of water by volume on the entire planet. As you may imagine, exploring these frozen tunnels isn't exactly a walk in the park, and for those brave enough to venture through one of the planet's best-kept secrets, risks traveling through one of the most dangerous landscapes on Earth. Whatever the case, what could this video be? Could it be evidence of this secret lost kingdom beneath the ice? Who knows? <laughs> Oregon Removing Town while most of the inhabited places in Antarctica are small, isolated research stations or underground bases, there are some slices of regular living that are a little closer to home. Let's take a look at Villa Las Estrellas, Antarctica's very own town, which is one with a rather grisly reputation. As one of only two civilization settlements in the desolate lands of frigid Antarctica, Villa Las Estrellas is made up of just 14 homes. There's one bank, a single small school, one gym, one church, and it even has its own souvenir shop. However, in order to live in this place, it comes with one particularly grisly cost. You see, for long-term residents, the price of living here is the removal of your appendix. Given the fact the nearest hospital is 625 miles away, the potential risk of having a burst appendix is just too much for residents, and removal of the organ is the only option. Other than that, it's a pretty beautiful place to live. Spanish for Town of the Stars, it's technically a Chilean civilian settlement, which has a tiny population of over 100 residents during the summer months. As you may imagine, it's even less once the winter begins to blow into town. Whatever the case, it's certainly an interesting place to live. Just be prepared to risk your body to live there. <laughs> heavy Metal Legends Antarctica may already be a pretty heavy metal kind of environment, but it reached fever pitch back in 2013, when one of the more legendary bands in the world became the first band to perform a gig in the frozen hellscape. In a bid to become the first ever band to have played a concert in all seven continents on Earth, the American heavy metal outfit turned their sights toward Antarctica, orchestrating one of the most elaborate performances that the music industry has ever witnessed. The hour-long show, dubbed Freeze Em All, took place in front of 120 scientists and competition winners, and was held beneath a transparent dome at Carlini Station, one of the largest research outposts on the continent. Amazingly, unlike Metallica's regular concerts, the show was performed entirely without amplification due to the icy continent's fragile environment. Amplifiers were instead enclosed in isolation cabinets, and the sound was transmitted to the audience via headphones. However, this was definitely no silent disco. Let the headbanging commence. <laughs> Super Seals One thing that we have yet to mention is the astonishing collection of wildlife on display in this bizarre frozen continent. While seals may not be the most unusual of these animals, the way that scientists have discovered these creatures navigating the frozen waters is certainly one of the strangest things you could imagine. Did you know that seals have a sixth sense? And no, while they can't see dead people, they can use this extraordinary ability to traverse the frozen waters of Antarctica. Back in 2014, scientists discovered the Waddell seals, a species native to the continent that has a bizarre biological adaptation. It allows them to dive to incredible depths while hunting by using the Earth's magnetic field as a sort of biological GPS system. Incredibly, Scientists believe that the animals are a highly evolved species that have used this ability to navigate ice holes, allowing them to breathe while undertaking long underwater hunting sessions. That's not all either, because scientists believe that this is the first observed evidence of a marine mammal using the ability. <laughs> Giant Crack As our planet rapidly heats up during the effects of climate change, Perhaps the most terrifying thing we can witness is the collapse of melting ice sheets. Well, take a look at this truly jaw-dropping footage, which shows the moment that the Brunt Ice Shelf in Antarctica began to break off entirely from the frozen continent. Believed to be more than 20 times the size of Manhattan, 
The chunk that's broken off occurred back in November 2020, when a series of smaller chunks had also signaled the breakaway. Known as the North Rift, the crack that caused the split had been under observation by scientists for several years, and in January 2020, the crack was growing at a rate of almost 0.6 miles per day. The Brunt Ice Shelf is a colossal slab of frozen mass believed to be around 492 feet thick at its widest part. Although the breaking off of large parts of the ice shelf is a normal process of their life cycle, it was how quickly this one occurred that's given scientists cause for alarm. Pretty crazy, right? <coughs> Yeti Crabs While Yetis are some of the more terrifying mythological cryptids of the frozen north, it seems that its southern counterpart has an equally perplexing creature that shares its hair-raising name. Well, sort of. Take a look at the Yeti Crab, one of the strangest aquatic animals ever discovered in Antarctica. First observed by scientists back in 2005, this odd species is a blind deep-sea crab whose legs are covered with long, pale yellow hairs. As you may imagine, because of its distinctively hairy appearance, the animal earned the nickname Yeti Crab after the fabled Yeti, the abominable snowman of the Himalayan mountains. This crustacean regularly measures in at around 6 inches long and favors scouring the deep ocean bed for food. It's believed that the hairy appendages of its skin contain a type of bacteria which the crab uses to detoxify poisonous minerals from the water surrounding the hydrothermal vents where it lives. Shackleton's Whiskey The legendary name of Shackleton has become synonymous with Antarctic exploration. And ever since his fateful expedition back in 1898, the frozen continent has been littered with tales of this heroic era. For those of you that don't know, Ernest Shackleton was a famed Antarctic explorer who led three expeditions to the continent, with his final one being largely abandoned due to perilous conditions. Well, during the final voyage, Shackleton's expedition base was abandoned, but beneath the floorboards of the frozen hut, his team hid a collection of whiskey behind. Astonishingly, after following a trail of breadcrumbs left behind in Shackleton's diary, a team of adventurers rediscovered the lost whiskey 102 years after the explorer was forced to leave them behind. Shackleton's stash was rediscovered frozen and ice back in 2010, and apparently it still tasted pretty good. Bottled in 1898, the bottles were found completely intact after researchers could hear whiskey sloshing around in a buried case. Antarctica's negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit temperature wasn't cold enough to freeze the liquor. Lost Cruiser From long lost frozen whiskey to state-of-the-art machinery. Well, state-of-the-art in the 1950s. It's no secret that many things have been lost to the frozen wastelands of Antarctica. And while countless vehicles have found themselves consumed by the ice, this incredible exploration vehicle has managed to survive more than most. Feast your eyes on the Kharkov Chanka, an Antarctic off-road vehicle made in 1958 in the former Soviet Union, which was designed exclusively for surviving at the ends of the Earth. The thing is, while the USSR may have collapsed back in the 90s, these incredible vehicles are still traversing the frozen landscape to this day. Dubbed by many to be the ultimate survival vehicle, this massive off-road cruiser consists of a small galley, a toilet, an oven, and room enough for eight beds. Random Linen Statue Alright, speaking of weird relics of the Soviet Union, it doesn't end there. While the continent of Antarctica is one of the more remote environments on Earth, the geographical point that is furthest from anything and anyone actually has a name. Known as the Southern Pole of Inaccessibility, this place is the furthest point on Antarctica from the Southern Ocean, making it one of the more difficult places to access on the planet. However, in some bizarre turn of events, back in 1958, a Soviet-led expedition reached this point and established a small research base. To top it off, they left behind a statue of their former leader, Vladimir Lenin. Amazingly, the station was in operation from December 14, 1958, and since then, at least two more expeditions have reached the pole. An American expedition in 1965 and a British-Canadian expedition in 2007. And guess what? The statue is still there, just frozen and covered in snow. Kinda creepy, actually. <laughs> Brinicle. Speaking of creepy, let's take a look at one of the more powerful forces in the Antarctic Ocean. One that's known as the Brinicle, the icy finger of death. 
a force that's so destructive that it'll vaporize anything that crosses its path. Technically speaking, a brinicle, otherwise known as a brina icicle, is a downward growing tube of ice captured around a plume of descending brine. In an oddly beautiful display, as seawater freezes in polar oceans, concretions of brine are also expelled in the process, and when they come into contact with the neighboring ocean water, it forms a frozen pillar that will instantly freeze anything it comes into contact with. Although these briny pillars of death are extraordinarily dangerous, it seems that only starfish or sea urchins are small enough to ever fall beneath its path. Yeah, let's steer clear of these things, just in case. Nuclear Submarine Nothing says unsettling quite like a nuclear submarine bursting through polar ice. Yeah, it doesn't get much more extreme than that. Feast your eyes on the moment this incredible naval vessel bursts its way through the ice. While you've probably seen something like this occur in an action movie, as it turns out, the process of having a nuclear submarine burst through the frozen shell above is actually a pretty important occurrence, and it's one that continues to play a role in maintaining the safety of our polar regions. If you've ever wondered how these extraordinary submarines manage to smash their way through the ice, it requires a combination of sheer bravery and expert navigational skills, while somehow managing to travel through a dark and uninhabitable abyss, officially known as the Vertical Surfacing Procedure. This maneuver isn't exactly a part of the normal submarine's skill set, and it's reserved for only the most capable of crews. Yeah, leave it to the experts. <laughs> Military Base Speaking of mind-blowing military exercises, did you know that the polar regions of our planet are reportedly being developed by dozens of countries in a bid to wrestle control over the southern and northern hemispheres? Back in 2017, Russia announced that they had developed the enormous Arctic trefoil permanent base in Franz Josef Land, a huge ice-covered desolate archipelago at the top of the world. Built on stilts to help withstand the extreme cold, this remote base can house 150 personnel on 18-month tours of duty, with temperatures plunging to below 30 on a regular basis. While the Arctic has been subject to a number of growing tensions between Russia, the United States, and a number of different countries, it's also believed that the southern continent has been targeted. Although no official reports have been stated, there are many people who believe that military bases in Antarctica are currently under operation. Crazy to think, right? <laughs> Ice Fish Colony And finally, take a look at this gigantic colony of one of Antarctica's craziest creatures, the ice fish. Commonly known as the crocodile ice fish, down to the unique shape and length of their distinctive snout, these incredible deep-sea creatures lack red blood cells and hemoglobin, giving them their distinctive translucent appearance. Discovered back in 1928 by a biologist in the Antarctic, the ice fish species initially baffled scientists with its scaleless and eerily pale body. Now, after extensive research, biologists have confirmed that the Antarctic ice fishes are the only vertebrates that lack both red blood cells and hemoglobin, which is due to their remarkable adaptation to the Antarctic's freezing and oxygen-rich waters. The colony itself was discovered back in January 2022 and is officially the world's largest known colony of breeding fish. Located 1,640 feet below the frozen ice, it's believed that there are over 60 million active nests down there. <laughs>